Tēnā koutou katoa. My name is Ella. I'm a prefect at Turakina Māori Girls College. Our values are to strengthen, support and uplift. Nō reira, nō mai hara mai. Welcome to Turakina. A graduate from Turakina Māori Girls College would be a young woman who has a huge self-respect, well educated, takes total responsibility, They know how to manaki, looking after people. So she beams knowledge, she beams beauty, she beams confidence, and she shows pride. Mana wairua, mana Māori, mana wahine, mana mātauranga. You and I share the same point of view with a smile. Our day begins at 6 a.m. exercise. We can fly on people wings. Here we go, here we go. Yes, they do really get up and run. They have a variety of exercise, so I guess running the block became a bit boring. The benefits from having a fit body is that you've got a fit mind as well. Breakfast at 7.30. First class at 9 a.m. Okay, at 8 o'clock, how many will you have in the dish? 241. Good. One of the benefits of having a small school is that the classes are small. And so the students have opportunity a lot of the time for one on one tutoring. Here we go, science and safety ladies. <laughs> Every senior student are to sit external exams. Whoa! Go to the top, go to the top, hurry, hurry. Every student in our kura will succeed in an environment where their safety and well being is paramount. So that's the zero tolerance. Alcohol, drugs, bullying is a no no. What university do you want to go to? I want to go to AU. Oh my gosh, I really want to go there too. Turakina was opened in 1905. Who we are today and who we might be was dreamed long ago by those who went before us. Turakina Māori Girls College. It's 109 years old. We have educated hundreds, thousands of young Māori women and they've gone on to have wonderful lives and careers. Some have become TV reporters, some have become lawyers, some have become members of parliament. It's special to us as the church because it's our only Māori boarding school we have in the Presbyterian Church. There is no other for us. And so we kind of look at Tsurikina Māori Girls College as being the jewel in the crown the jewel in the Presbyterian crown. My name is Amiria Kedihi Takawa, commonly known as Millie. I am a very proud Turakina pupil. I was born in Kamerun, 
but I grew up in Matata. Turukinawa, it was so far away from home. And of course I thought, oh wow, you know, this is this is great. I'm you know going far, far away. Oh my goodness. When I got to Turukina in the early hours of the morning, I saw a huge building that looked like a jail. So I didn't want to get off the taxi that had delivered us to the college. I sat on the, on the car and cried the taxi driver to come out and take me out. There were two of us and we both wanted to come home. Oh my goodness me. But we had a senior girl there and she used to hear me sniffling at night and my bed was two beds away from hers. And she used to come and gently lift me out of my bed and tuck me in with her. Continue to love your family, but learn to love those around you. When I did learn to love my fellow students, my teachers and that, oh, it was a mighty good world. Everything at Tirukira inspired me to reach for greater things. Kia ora, my name is Tony Huata and I'm a Tirukira old girl. I'm a singer and a performer. Tirukira definitely put me on this path. I remember being asked to sing to a few of my friends on their beds uh, at night just to uh, whakatau te wairua, just to settle them. Even then I had no idea I would get into music. At Turakina there was no guitar that tuned us so we all performed vocally, a cappella. And um, the good thing about that is that it fine tunes your ear to pitch and to tone. Probably the biggest thing about our time there, besides the friendship, is you know the harmon the harmonic singing. Um, it was very beautiful, quite awe-inspiring, and the whole school. Waikahua is a love song that my grandfather wrote for my grandmother. It's about love, it's about enduring, it's about what support you can give will return to you. The school is going through a rebuild journey at the moment, certainly refurbishing the hostel so that we can cater for more students. We are looking at hitting a roll of 120 students, which would be full capacity. Rainbows and new beginnings feel like a For little kura, we compete against some top schools. Driving into space, go! We've taken out netball titles, basketball titles, rugby titles. We do very well in the waka ama. Great stuff. Not an easy, not an easy. We have a qualified driving instructor. Some parents wouldn't like to be in the passenger seat when their daughter's learning how to drive, so our driving instructor has a lot of courage. <laughs> The seed for my professional success was planted at Turakina Māori Girls College. Kia ora koutou, ko tina o Cliff Tōku ingoa, nō Ngāti Purau Ahau. 
I was at Tūrikina Māori Girls College from 1987 to 1990. I'll always appreciate my Māori teacher, Trevor Moike, who really encouraged me to pursue Te Reo Māori and me on a tikanga when it wasn't really in vogue. He uh, saw something in me, um, some kind of potential. He must have been right because today I make a living talking to television cameras and into microphones speaking Te Reo Māori. So I want to acknowledge that. As well as that, it's the theological grounding that the school provides for young girls, that the hawairua, the a sense of spirituality. And I, I want to say and I want to acknowledge that the Presbyterian Church community was a very kind and caring community to our school. It was obvious that we were the jewel in the Presbyterian crown. Long may that generosity continue, long may your support for Te Rekina Māori Girls College continue. Kia ora koutou. The Presbyterian Church was there at the beginning, has held Turakina and kept Turakina open all of those years. Through adversity, through difficult times, huge mihi to the church because it never walked away from Turakina and that means it never walked away from our people. 110 years old in 2015 and at the moment it needs help and so we're looking at opportunities for sponsorship. There are businesses out there who are looking for philanthropic ways to invest in New Zealand being able to help a girl through Turakina, being able to sponsor some sporting opportunities through Turakina, those are all ways that a broader New Zealand society can actually say we do care about all our young people. We care about the people from whānau who dream big and who want a good future for their girl but who can't afford it. You know, a good education shouldn't just be the opportunity of the financially wealthy. Let's not forget why Turakina was formed in the first place. To empower and educate uh, young Māori girls to make a difference in this society. It's about this nation. I would like to put a call out to all members of the Presbyterian Church to pray for Turakina at this time. It is important that we uphold this precious gem, this ta'onga of our Presbyterian Church to God. The school needs your prayers and so I would encourage every parish throughout New Zealand to intercede and pray for uh, Turakina School in these coming months. Can I also put out a challenge to, particularly to the philanthropic people of New Zealand who may want to invest in the youth of this nation. Many of the young girls who need to go to Turakina School come from families that simply can't afford the fees. If you could invest in the education of uh, one of those girls through their years at Turakina School, that would be a real investment and blessing to Aotearoa New Zealand. What about us all? What can we all do to help young girls get educated and set free to be a blessing in every sphere of society in New Zealand. Thank you for what you can do for this nation. We are blessed every day, even when we don't know it. Aha kua heti, together, anything is possible. Nō reira, ka nui te mihi ki a koutou, te nā koutou, te nā koutou, te nā tātou katoa.